What's cracking you two? My name is Brody and welcome back to part number four of my first breakthrough booster box opening. And if you guys have not seen part number one, two, or three, I suggest you do because the pulls in these breakthrough boxes are that good. They're not just so good, they're just that good. But without further ado, I'm going to, we're going to start cracking into these Mega Hand Doom Pack Arts. Look at them all in all their glory. Just looks so good to hold these hold these packs in my hands finally. But yeah, I'm gonna snip the tops off these um these packs and then we're gonna get cracking into this part. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty guys, thanks for hanging through me, snipping off the packs. Let's go, pack number one of this part. Ooh, Mega Houndoom, the Mega Houndoom pack art. Let's see how this can go. So, so far, personally, let's just, little spoiler, little spoiler. The best part, in my opinion, was probably part number one. I'd say there's double chest pin. We got a Earthring, Fishman, Magneton. Ooh, we got a Chesnod break. Let's go. Let's go. Did not see that coming. I might just not feel for the uh, for what the card is because that was the feel was just then when I got that was awesome. Chairs not breaking. What's that got? Tough hammer. Uh, fun little fact. I got wrecked by this in pre-release. Someone actually managed to get it out, and because my deck just was not very well structured, I just couldn't couldn't do anything about it, and it just ruined me. But yeah, we got a bomber, a bomber snare. It's a regular air. I was really hoping for um, some double goodness there. That would have been sweet. Because uh, I don't know if it's just TCGO exclusive. There's a code. But I have seen on TCGO, I have seen someone get double, a double pull. So they got like a Chez, like for example, a Chez Mod and then like a, a Xerneas Hollow in the same pack. So if it's doable on TCGO, I, I, I'm kind of hoping that it's doable here, but it's just very rare. We got a town map reverse, and then a smuggle. Cause that'd be insane to get two balls in a pack. It's like legendary treasure style. Whoa, but pack number three of this part. What about they kick it off? Chess not break. It looks so nice, kind of just looking at me in the back there. I can I can kind of see over over top of the cards, but it's kind of just staring at me. That golden chess not. Ooh, Starly, that oh, art's interesting. Swine up. I love that. It's just tucked in between all the pillows. Ink a salt vest, ice cream cone, fatty, magnemite. We got an aromatis, aromatise, aromatis. Whatever you want to call it. Pug and Heavy Perfume. Let's call that the Drama Queen Pokemon. New Pokedex entry. Aromatis, the Drama Queen Pokemon. This Pokemon is a Drama Queen. Full stop. Anyway, we got Hippotas. We got Piplup. I think, uh, actually, talking about Hippotas. I think there was some sort of a photo somewhere going around on Facebook or Pokemon you know, where there was a Hippopotas on Ash's shoulder. And that thing is heavy. I'm just saying, Ash has either been bulking like crazy. Oh, woo, here we go, Parallel City, the new Parallel City. Uh, that is awesome. Oh, I thought that was the first for a sec, that would have been awesome. And we got a brakes in. Oh, okay, so we're still going through, sorry. Yeah, and Ash, Ash was lifting like hardcore. I just thought it was really funny. We got chat up. I thought it was pretty funny that time. <laughs> Ash just casually had a toss on his shoulder. Oh, I got something in my eye. Hey, it's really, really killing me. I don't know if you guys noticed at the start of the video, I was like blinking and trying to hold it back, but it's kind of just there. Annoying me. We got Axew. Axew with a fruit as well. I know chessman has got a fruit fetish. Slash Quilladin. It's a really interesting art, hey. I don't know. Let me go. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of that art because I don't know. It's interesting. We got Professor's Letter, a Reverse Fennekin, and a gorgeous Florgeous. 
This card helped me out in pre-release a little bit. Oh, well, I tried to get it out because it was kind of... In a way, I think I had my, my deck based around... Oh, no, I did have my deck ba based around this because I had the floor just break. So I was trying... I was just trying it out, winging it. For some reason, I was running like a Magnemite, Magneton, <laughs> floor just combo, which just was never... It was never going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> I didn't have a Magna Zone, I had Magneton, and Magneton's um, attacks just aren't very kind. Let's just put it that way. If I put, if I get a Magneton, I'll show you guys. But look at that water effect art. Oh, that is powerful. Taking a hit like a boss. Magneton. There we go. After you shall receive. So Electro Ball is discard an energy discard and energy attached to this Pokemon so when you attack you just have to get rid of any an energy and you just have to keep stacking energy you know what I mean just to keep using that attack and it's just it's just a killer killer of an attack then we got Hoot Hoot almost looks like a hollow like your old school um, black and white plasma hollows it's got like a liney background and then a Mr. Mime bench barrier and juggling so only so far we've only got that lonely Chesnaught up the back there. I wouldn't. I'm not very surprised because the other, the first two, two to three cards were just jam packed. They were absolutely jam packed with the goodness. And what's that? Kind of like little scuffs on the top of that card. Interesting. What do they do? What do they do on the workshop? Look, there's an ink air. I didn't know there was an ink air in a set. Stink air. Chair spin. Do Duo, we got Fennekin, Zorua, Go Go, Swoobat, oh I think we got something, I think we got something, we got Frogadier, and a Zora Walk break, check that, this part's all about the breaks, that is badass, that looks so good, like the gold and the black is just perfect, so it's got foul play, one, so what's that do? It's one energy and it says choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks and use it as your own. Oh, okay. Not bad. That's definitely definitely playable. You can use our own move against them. And we got chat off. Oh, damn it. That double pull. Double pull would be awesome. But yeah, Zorok break. Let's stack those next to each other. So that's Spoiler alert, but that's three, three breaks for this box, which is pretty nice. I'll give out the pack, uh, the code in the last pack. I just forgot to give out the code, then I can't be bothered going and picking it back up. But yeah, we got Wubat, Swablu, Snova, Rufflet, Scatterbug, a Burning Energy, Dedenne, Primplop, a Reverse Snubble, it's not bad, and we got a Cresselia. So I had this in my deck as well with Flawless. Oh, a little bit tired. But yeah, so Moonlight Gain. So it does 70 damage and then you can heal 20 straight like this. So that's pretty, pretty decent. And then um, the ability My Way is pretty good too. If you have a Stadium out, it um, there's no retreat cost. So instead of having to use two energy to retreat, obviously there's none. So that it's not bad. Crystallia is not bad. In the final pack of this part, so I will give out the code. There's the code, and let's go. Final pack of this boost box. Can we get the goods? I think I think we do. I think we're ending it pretty freaking strong right now. Oh, let's go. We got Noibat. We got Piplup. We got Chespin. Bronzor. Froakie. Stunfisk, Spupa. I'm I'm really surprised how many times I've, I'm like seeing the same cards already, and um, this is only one box, and there's 100 and 162 cards in the set. But yeah, we got Swablu with Bind Wound, and a Houndoom EX. So that's an interesting way to end off the the part. Oh, this box in general. Look at that gloss. That's awesome. So what, yeah, Houndoom has Melting Horn and Grand Flame. It's not bad. 
I thought like when I first saw this card, I I thought it was awesome. I still I still do think it's pretty good, but now that I've seen some of the other other arts in the set, and I'm kind of like comparing now. I don't know. That's what I'm like. I'll see an art, and then I'll like compare the art with other arts in the set. Like if I compare these two right now, I'm clearly going to cho um, choose the Zora Break just because I just like it better. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do you like better? Let's let's compare breaks. Let me know in the comments. What one do you like better? Do you like the Chesnot break or the Zoroark break? Little competition. Let's see who wins. But either way, recap for this part. Let's go favorite to least favorite. We got the Chesnot break. Then we got the Houndoomy X. And then we got the Zoroark break. So what, an, what a way to end off box number one. I don't know how many poles we got in this box. Oh, should I check? Should I check? Nah. Um, if you you guys want to see the polls, you'll just have to check out the other parts. I'll probably leave um, some info in, des in the description as to the total amount of polls in this box in general. But yeah, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to check out the other parts to see the polls in those. Um, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next opening. Peace.